to my channel. So this is the makeup look that I am doing today. It is featured around where the heck has it gone? Oh, it's all the way over there. It is featured around the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. There is a new palette that's come out, but I'm a poor bitch and I haven't purchased it yet because I got bills. I gotta pay. Anywho, so I'm using the good old trusty fave Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. So if you want to learn how I got this makeup look, then keep keep. <laughs> So firstly, I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as a base. I'm priming my entire eyelid with it. It's going to make the eyeshadows last longer and make them more pigmented. As you can see, I've already got the rest of my makeup done, so if you have any questions, leave them down below. Okay, and now we are going to use Foxy, the very first shade out of the palette, <laughs> to set the paint pot. Man, this is hard already. I'm going into Booty Call and I'm using this to highlight under the brow bone. So now I'm taking my MAC 217 brush into the colour Tease and we're going to start contouring our socket. Focusing the majority right here under this bone. We want that area to like stand out. And then just flick it out. I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to take it in this area. More. And I'm focusing it on the outer crease. And I'm taking the same color tees and my MAC 239 and I'm going to smoke it underneath the eye. My smaller fluffy blending brush and going into the color snake bite. Now I'm wriggling it on the outside of the eye. So this darker colour snake bite is going to create a nice definition out in the outside corner. Once you've got the majority of the colour there, take your big blending brush and buff it out. Okay, now to brighten the inner section of the eye, I'm taking the colour Booty Call. Now this is really going to open our eyes up. And now I have this Loose Eye Dust by Napoleon. It's in the colour Ice Storm. Looks like this. And we're popping this on the inside section of the eye straight over the top of Booty Call. And now we're going to do a wing eyeliner and some lashes. Today I'm just using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Black Gel Liner. I do have a wing eyeliner tutorial too. This Estee Lauder eyeliner, I don't find it's very black at all. So I feel that you have to kind of pack the product on there for it to be quite pigmented, which is a little bit frustrating, but I think because it's Estee Lauder, they don't like anything to be too bold or too dramatic. So maybe they want it to be like a softer black. I don't know. I definitely prefer a black black. Blick eyeliner. Okay, so now that I've got my wings on, I'm, wow, wow, wow. 
I'm going to pop on my favourite mascara, my L'Oreal Telescopic. A quick coat of this and then I'm going to pop some lashes on too. Okay, so I've only done my top mascara. I'm not going to do my bottom mascara yet because I want to grab a highlighter and a concealer brush. So we're just going to get a little bit of the highlighter. L highlighter. I'm watching way too many of Desi's videos. <laughs> and then we're going to use a clean blending brush. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop a pair of my favorite lashes on. These are the 747Ms. These ones are red cherries. I always like to get to my eyeliner brush, fill in these areas. So if you can see what I've done there, it makes the little bits in between the lashes black, so it blends a lot nicer with your wing. Okay, so I've loaded the lashes up with glue, and while I'm waiting for the glue to go tacky, I'm gonna pop on my bottom mascara. So when I stick my lashes on, I make sure it's really, the lash is like facing vertically. And then I get it right in line with the roots of my natural lash. Once I've got it there, I let go. Get my tweezers and stick at the end to the root. And I hold it there for a few seconds before I let go. And then I repeat the same thing with the inside section. Once I've got the whole lash down, I then get my finger and just lift it up slightly because you want it to have that curled effect. And once I've got them in place, I get my tweezers and I squeeze the falsies and the reallys together. Be very, <laughs> Just using my camera finish in the golden sand. Especially here, it gets so oily here. And I'm wearing the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I find on my skin it goes so oily. It's just through the center that I get oily. I'd just like to thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.